Hello everyone, Take Goth Fight here again for part 8 of the Pokemon Rumble playthrough. And this part, we start off the B grade. Um, right here, I'm just kind of buying time, checking out the uh, dungeons, and checking out the Pokemon I have. As you can see there, my Persian is up to level 100 and, well, I don't know, power 137 now because we have got the upgraded wonder key so we can have levels over 100 now so as you can see the pokemon in the dungeons definitely change between the grades i just caught a venonat there which is actually kind of cool i switched to him right now uh, and venonat's just cool looking pokemon and he has this awesome confusion attack that just ripped through those other venonats and as you can see i picked up another one but that one wasn't as strong it only had tackle attack um, I know I switched back to Hypno for some reason here, but I realized I didn't don't know why I would do that, so I switched to Persian. A uh, little bit of lag there. Hopefully that'll be fixed soon. I just got a new portable hard drive, so uh, I freed up some space on my computer, and hopefully it'll make it run better. Uh, we, lag's not that bad. Some of the later videos it comes back again, but uh, I don't know, I guess we'll have to wait and see. I'll try everything I can to get get it fixed. So I switched back to Nidoran here because he is my strongest Pokemon. He's not as good as some at clearing out these large groups, but especially with the strength attack is really only good for um, one or two really large Pokemon to take down since it takes uh, some time to charge up and everything. There's a group of Wigglytuff. Yeah, just, uh, it's interesting uh, that's, to see the uh, changes in the Pokemon between the grades and the dungeons. That's, I think, what keeps this game exciting. I mean, it's been criticized for being repetitive, but just with all the differences in the, the Pokemon that you can see and the different Pokemon that you can catch throughout all the different grades that I think it keeps it from being repetitive, at least for Pokemon fans that is. You see a group of Parasect here, haven't seen that in the game before, so yeah, I don't know, I think personally this game is very fun and I mean the dungeons are repetitive, but the game itself, well I don't, that doesn't really make sense, but the dungeons are repetitive, but it doesn't feel so repetitive, I don't know, whatever. Maybe you understand what I'm saying, maybe not, but either way, I just picked up a Pikachu, and this one, it has Thundershock and Growl, that must have been. Get a Venomoth, too, at a lower level. So Pikachu's just destroying, some of these, uh, the status attacks are, are very helpful. Yeah, and there's a little bit of lag again there, and I get another Pikachu, the, the, the video is starting to catch up. I do switch to that Pikachu, this one has Quick Attack which is actually, and I get another Venomoth, Quick Attack is actually good because it can just whip through um, large groups of guys very quickly, hence Quick Attack. And uh, that, I believe, was Tail Whip, which helps aid Quick Attack. So I'm just Tail Whipping and Quick Attacking. And Pikachu is moving very slowly because of the lag. I think I stopped there for a second to try to let the video catch up. Unfortunately, it's not. Like I said, hopefully I'm going to be able to get this fixed somehow. And now we're going to have a quick transition to bring us uh, back to exactly where we started. I paused the game for a minute to let the uh, video catch up and hopefully stop the lag. Uh, seemed to have yeah, worked fairly well. It's lagging. Last Pikachu isn't a very fast Pokemon, so it's hard to tell. I mean, he's average. And now the boss is being cranked up, and as you can probably see very easily, it is a Raichu. So, if, I don't know if I keep out Pikachu, but if I do, it's going to be a uh, mouse Pokemon battle, I guess. Pikachu versus a lot of Pikachu, and it's larger version Raichu. Quick Attack is actually very, very good against the bosses, as you can see, it just beasted Raichu. 
because uh, he it hits them uh, like numerous times, and then Pikachu flies right out of the way. So I did not get Raichu, but I, I don't know. I, he he just got destroyed there, so I don't know how much help he would have been either way. Yeah, that's embarrassing for Raichu, I guess. Quick attack also is nice for s areas like that to get away quickly. But anyway, yeah, 101 Pokemon killed. I get actually a bunch of Pikachu, some Venomoths, some Venonats, all sorts of stuff in that dungeon. And now I am back in the terminal. And I am going to try to switch Pikachu's moves here, see what we get. Oh, I get, yes, I get Grass Knot, which can be very helpful. So yes, we'll try out more of Pikachu in the next dungeon. See you next time.